Hello, Graveyard Talkers, and welcome again to another episode of Graveyard Talking. I am Randy, and this is going to be another video from Zion uh, Lutheran Cemetery in Monroe, Michigan. We've moved to the back a little bit. The cemetery is very long, and we've moved to the back. I was outside for a while, and uh, it was just too cold. Now the cemetery is actually three cemeteries together. And um, we're at the farthest or the most eastern port point of the cemetery. Now we're going to try a little session here. The last session I had in here was not the best. Just really too cold with... Um, with the snow it's wet I was out there for about 20 minutes and my hands were really really starting to hurt so I apologize for having to do it from the car but it's best to do it from the car than to get out there and get sick so we're gonna try it from here again my name is Randy for all those souls who are here to 1100 almost 1200 souls in Trinity I'm sure there's more than that and I come in peace. I'm here to talk to you and get your story out. If you'd like to talk to us, we would like to hear from you. I'll turn on my speaker. And if, if everybody's ready, we'll get started. So if anyone has anything they'd like to say to us, I'm using a couple of electronic devices. They will not harm you. We seek you no harm, no pain. If you have something to say that you'd like to say to me or the people watching uh, my videos, if you know what videos are, if you don't, it's just a way of communicating. It's today's way of communicating. We'd like to hear from you. Just know it. Just know what? Is it? All right, everyone. So, to, so today I am with my two dogs. And you'll be able to see their heads once in a while pop up. Is everybody in the cemetery okay in this resting place? Is everyone okay with my dogs being here? All right, can somebody tell me the color of one of my two dogs? I will go back and listen. I thought I heard black and white. And if that's the case, Chloe, Chloe Bell, Chloe Bell, Chloe Bell, there's Chloe Bell. Chloe Bell is black and white. So we'll see. Hopefully that's what was what was said. You saw it. You saw it moving. Does anyone does anyone have anything that they would like to say to me today or say to anyone, to a family member? Any words we can get out? Any any messages we can pass along? It's good. I heard it was good. Now I have a list of questions, and unfortunately, I printed them out and I set them down on the kitchen table as I left, and I forgot them. And of course, I'm trying to remember. 
what, uh, what was in those questions, and I can't remember. One of the questions that I do know that I wrote down was, has anybody here ever made themselves visible to a living human being? I heard you. I like it. Peace. No. So, and if you have made yourself visible, why? Well, can we? Because is not an answer, sir. <laughs> because, as soon as I turned it on, I heard because. Because is not an answer. We would like to hear why. Did you miss that person? Were they missing you? Were you trying to scare them? I heard sleep, so maybe, maybe the person was asleep. Did you enter that person's dream? Sometimes I just don't hear what's coming across. The, there's a lot of crosstalk, a lot of static coming across. And it's really not until I uh, review the video that I hear the Spirit speaking. So is there someone who can really come through and really talk, um, uh, use energy and really talk so that I can hear uh, you as being the spokesperson? I heard an Ed. Ed, would you like to be the spokesperson for uh, the people in in this cemetery? No. Would somebody give me their name who would like to be a spokesperson? Uh, in this cemetery that we could talk to. Okay, I'm not hearing anybody. And as I've said before, I really truly believe the spirits are less active when it's cold. When I started this last summer, um, I was really hearing a lot of information coming through. As it's gotten colder, the, the, the information that makes sense, the words that make sense are fewer in between. And there is somebody else that I was talking to that said that uh, they do this in another part of the country. And they have been told there as well that the spirits are cold. And when the spirits are cold, they're less active. Is that true? Are you less active when it's cold are, as a spirit? Are you less active when it's cold? Or something about the door. You know, the the dogs got their heads out the door. So, um, does the cold affect you as a spirit, as it did when you were alive? Uh, 
Grandpa. I heard television. I heard Grandpa. Who? Somebody looking for the Grandpa? I am. Can I have your name? Who's looking for your Grandpa? I don't know who it is. That's what we're trying to find out. I did not hear a name, but but where are you? Where are you right now? Are you lost? And if you can give me your name, I certainly can try and look for your grandfather. I did hear a ray through all that. But Ray's not going to help me very much. Ray, I'd need your last name. So now that it's cold and I'm not hearing anything from Ray, I'll, I'll, I'll again, I will. I know I keep saying that, but I will listen. Maybe Ray came through lower. There's a lot of people talking. I'm not pulling out a lot of information. So now that it's cold, do you guys just stay in the cemetery? We meet again, I heard. We meet again. Where did we meet before? Back to Turkey. Sound like as soon as I turned it on, somebody said in Turkey. I've been in Turkey, but I'm not quite sure I met anybody there that would know me now. I mean, where was it that we met? Where are you at? I am at Zion Lutheran Cemetery in Monroe, Michigan. Where are you at? So I asked this earlier in another um, in another video. As you see, I have my dogs with me, and I love my dogs. My dogs are everything to me. When I pass away and cross over, do my dogs who have passed away meet me on the other side? They wait. 
Are you saying they will wait for me until I cross over? I heard around. It sounds like they wait around. I don't know if that means they wait around. I mean, you know, they talk about they cross over the Rainbow Bridge and they talk about there's no heaven or hell for dogs, but if I go to heaven or I go to hell, and, you know, if I go to heaven and they're waiting for me, then they're waiting for me, or do they just wait for me where you cross over at before you go to heaven? Is there a heaven? Well, that's the question. Is there a heaven and is there a hell? <laughs> Not sure I heard anything. So could somebody somebody come out really loud and let me know is there a heaven and is there a hell? When we die do we have two places we can go, three places we can go? Is there a heaven and is there a hell? I heard there is. I also heard he lives. So if there is a heaven and if there is a hell, If I cross over, where are my dogs? And if they're with me, do they go to heaven? If I go to heaven, or if I go to hell, do they go to hell? Difficult. Difficult. I heard difficult. I don't know if that means it would be difficult for them to go to heaven or hell with me. Uh, what did the Catholics call that, like purgatory? You're neither in heaven, you're neither in hell. Is that where spirits hang out? Do they hang out in spirit in purgatory? In so are there dark spirits today in this cemetery listening to our conversation? And once I once I die, and I don't know, are you judged? Are you uh, when you pass away? Are you judged for what you did in your life? Damage. I heard damage. You know. All right, so then if there is a heaven and there is a hell, maybe there even is a purgatory, a waiting area, I guess. Do I get to make my own choice where I want to go?
be very interested in hearing that question because I think that's one thing we all want to know is when it's time to go. Let's face it. I believe in you know doing to others what's been done to me and uh, I try to live a good life. Turn the other cheek kind of a thing. But I'm no saint. And uh, I don't think I want to go to internal blazes breaking up rocks. For the rest of my life, you know, for the rest of eternity. Do I have anything to worry about? <laughs> that sounded like Santa, but we'll listen to see what it said. But yeah, I, you know, uh, we're all seeking. We're all seeking the knowledge. What bit of advice can you give me and anyone who's listening on the best way to live eternally in peace? All right, well, we'll have to listen. I got an August, August and Elizabeth. Earn, I think it is E R N. Are you two? Are you two here with us today? Gus was born in 1825, died in 1898, it looks like. Elizabeth was born in 1832 and died in 1902. Does anybody in here? Um, go out to the neighborhood and visit the, the people in the neighborhood? No. So. <laughs> well, you know what? If anything could have come across more clearly, that certainly did no. No one goes out of here and goes and visits the people in the neighborhood. Good. Good. And why would that be? Why would you not go out and visit people in the neighborhood? I heard I do, yep, where? So those of you who do go out to the neighborhood, why? Oh. <laughs> Are you doing it to go out to have fun? Are you doing it to just meet people? Just walk around so that you're not bored? Oh,
So in other words, no real answer to that. You just do. Alrighty, well, we're getting a little bit long in the tooth here, so I think that we will stop this one. I'll go through as I always do and listen to what the spirits have to say uh, on the video, because as you know, if you've been following this with me for a while, you know they do more talking that comes out after afterwards, whether I just don't hear it or whether they're able to put their uh, thoughts across and it comes out electronically that we just don't hear. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but there's a lot of things that I hear um, after I after I um, re-listen to the audio. So once again, if you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, joining the channel. Cost you nothing. I would appreciate it. Uh, we've got about five or six new subscribers this week, so. Thumbs up to you guys subscribing. I appreciate it. Please watch all the videos. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below here. Uh, if you have any questions for me in the cemetery when I go, leave them down below here. And um, don't forget we'll be in New Orleans next week. We'll hit a couple of cemeteries out there. And hopefully, the warmer weather, we'll get some really good responses to the questions we ask. Hopefully, I won't forget my big list of um my big list of questions to ask and uh with that thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one